In this video, I'll break down how to use my Central Transitions V2 pack, which is for sale on my website WinkinsMedia.com. This pack comes with a tool of 20 plus easy drag and drop transitions for Final Cut Pro 10. Now in this video, I'll break down how to go ahead and actually install these transitions into Final Cut, and then I'll give you a brief overview of how to actually go ahead and use each of these transitions. So once you purchase the Essential Transitions V2 pack, it should just send you an email where you can go ahead and actually download the file. Now it should come in a zip file called Essential Transitions V2.zip. Now to unzip a file, all you have to do is just double click on the zip file and it should just open up this folder, Essential Transitions V2, and all the transitions should, should be in that folder. Now what you want to do is you want to head over here to go, go to home once you're in home you want to go to movies and then you want to head over here to motion templates and in motion templates you want to find your transitions folder and all you want to do is you want to take this folder right here and just simply drag it into the transitions folder which again should be located in your motion template folder so if i open up the transitions folder right here as you can see essential transitions v2 and if i open up the folder here are all of the uh, here are all of the um transitions and if i go ahead and just open one of the transitions this is what they should look like it should have this icon. So once you install the plugins, what you want to do is you want to just reopen Final Cut and you want to head over to this icon right here, which is basically all your transitions. So if I open up, basically you want to scroll down until you find the category Essential Transitions V2. So if I go here and I scroll down, here are all the, uh, here are all the transitions that come in this really cool pack, which is a total of 26 transitions. So you get a whole bunch of really cool transitions in this pack. Now if I go ahead and head over here, I'm going to go ahead and just play this preview right here. Here are all the transitions that come in the pack. So again, a total of 26. There are like whip pans, ink um, splatter transitions. Again, these are literally every single transition that comes in the pack. So a whole bunch of like the, the a whole bunch of variety of different of transitions for different types of videos. You see, you some really cool like whip pan transitions. I have like a film roll transition and a couple really cool like track mat transitions, a zoom transition, some split screen transitions, and then again another really cool like track mat transition. So again, those are all the transitions that come in the pack. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to actually apply these transitions onto your clips and how to kind of like adjust them to really make them really customizable. Now let me show you how to actually apply these transitions onto your clips. So as you can see, here's clip number one, and then here is clip number two. And this middle point right here is basically where you're applying the transition. So what you want to do is head over here to the transitions tab and you want to locate the transition you want to use. So again, there's a total of 26. Let's say we want to use whip pan, um, whip pan right. All you want to do is you want to, you want to kind of click on the transition and then drag it in between the two clips. So kind of like, it'll kind of like automatically kind of lock in place. You're basically just dragging the transition to the cut point. So you go ahead and, and disable and disable the window right here. Now if we go ahead and play the clip right here. Now you have, you see, this really clean transition, this really cool like whip pan transition. Now you can take the transition, select it, and you can either adjust it to make it go longer or you can adjust it to make it go really quick so see right here we can we kind of like ex extend the transition to make it go really quick so if you play right here as you can see now the transition is a lot quicker we can also just simply delete the transition head over here open this transition tab and let's say we want to use like um split two so apply this one and then apply that onto the clip right here so as you can see just simple as that now if we go ahead and play the clip now you have this really clean slice transition now i'm going to go ahead and delete this one and go over another one which is basically like this paper rip collage so if we head over here scroll down you see paper collage one and paper collage two and also the object wipe these ones have like drop zones so if we place this transition in between these two clips you'll see these like drop zone icon so let me just break down basically how to actually use the drop zone and this the same steps apply to the object wipe transition so right here as you see this drop zone which obviously that looks really weird now what you want to do is you want to take your playhead and hover over the first drop zone select on this transition and then locate this you see this is the first one all you simply do to actually like apply stuff to a drop zone is select on the drop zone right here select on the photo you want to use click on apply clip and then as you see, you can have you use some like parameters to adjust the position, to adjust the scale. Now what you want to do is you want to hover your playhead over the next drop zone, select it right here, select another one, click apply clip. Now you can also head over here to the scale, increase the scale, adjust the position. Now hover your playhead over to the third drop zone. 
All you, all you want to do is click, um, cl literally click on the drop zone, click on the photo you want to use, click on apply clip, and there you go, it's applied to the drop zone. Now if we increase the scale, as you can see, there you go. That's basically how you use drop zones in Final Cut. Now if I play the clip right here, as you can see, now these photos are applied to the drop zone. Now if I delete this transition and head over here, go to the object wipe transition, and if I go ahead and place it right here, it's literally the same thing. So you see, if I scroll down, you have this drop zone, so all you want to do is select the drop zone, select the photo apply clip, and then you can just adjust the parameters. Now one issue you may run into when you're trying to apply transitions, especially onto shorter clips, is you may have this weird error message show up. Let me just basically show you why this message is showing up. So as you see, I have these two clips, clip one and clip two. If I select this clip and I try to drag this clip out, see this like red line, I can't drag it out. If I select on this clip, I can't drag it out. Basically, there's no extra media at the end of the first clip or the beginning of the second clip. Basically, there's literally just no extra media. So if I, if I go ahead and over here to the transition window and apply ink bleed 5 and try to place it in between the two clips, this error message is going to show up. And basically, basically means there's no extra media. So basically what Final Cut does is when it applies a transition, is like it basically like it's applying the transition onto like quote unquote invisible frames. So it's applying the, the actual transition onto the last 10, 12 frames of the first clip and and you know, the first 10 or 12 frames of the second clip, basically like invisible frames. So basically what you have to do is, so let's say clip number one, you have to basically like give Final Cut those extra frames. So we select on this clip, all you wanna do is you wanna just drag this clip over to the left. So as you can see, we're gonna drag this clip over to the left. Now we're gonna select on this one. Now we're gonna drag this clip over to the right. So you just need to you just basically need to trim the clips. Now those frames that we just trimmed are like invisible frames. And those are the frames that Final Cut's actually gonna apply the transition to. So if we head over here and apply ink bleed 5 and apply under the clip, there you go. See, now the transition applies. So as you can see, the final cut is actually like using, so as you can see, see the transition, so this is like the middle point. The transition is actually using some of the media of this clip and some of the media of this clip. And again, if I showed, if you saw before that red line, there was no extra media, so final cut couldn't attach the transition on the clip. So if I play the clip right here, as you can see, now you have this really cool ink bleed transition, and that's how you you solve that issue where if you try to apply a transition, that weird error message shows up. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. Again, if you want to purchase the Essential Transitions V2 pack, it is for sale on my website, winkinsmedia.com. Now, if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.